Hello, this is STR8. Today we're going to play some more Psychonauts 2. And we just finished off our vending machine and now we got to figure out how to solve the problem with the bees. So, let's see. Where is that going to lead us? I just want to see what all I can upgrade. I've got a lot to spend. So, let's see. Devastation. Mental block. That might be nice. Only three. Slide of hand. Slap happy. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So that's six plus nine, 14. We can afford to get all of these, actually. Um, but I'm curious. Let's see. Limitless. Your powers are no longer restricted by cooldowns. Objects that are stuck in place are plucked faster. Add a radial shockwave to your ground pound that damages and pushes enemies back. So let's see how much that costs first. Might actually just go ahead and get that fully upgraded. Possibly the same for our telekinesis. We only have eight left, so we could full fill that out. Or let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and fill out telekinesis. Don't use it a whole lot, but it'd be nice to have another thing all the way. Okay. And I've got the pins I want. And gotta get rid of the bees. Okay. It says follow the honey. <laughs> um I do remember seeing a trail of it. Yeah, here we are. It's up here. So that's definitely where we gotta head, but I wanted to look a little bit more. I felt like there was another part of the overworld that I didn't quite explore yet. I mean, maybe it was just a honey part. Hey. I can't leave now. They need my help here. Okay, well if that's there then maybe I can indeed uh, go back at some point. So that's where Bob is and I did notice I think there's something over there that I left behind so maybe it'll be worth returning. I don't remember what it was exactly but we'll find out soon enough. Okay. Oh, uh, it was a card. Okay. Let's try hitting this. There we go. Surprised I missed that. There we go. And we'll head back. Oh, there's a pipe to ride. That's right. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I can jump over this one. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> um, what else do we have? It may have been about it. I think, yeah, that is it. So we'll just have to head on through the honey. It's a little outhouse here, nice. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Maybe this will be where I get that power. And there's Bob and Helmet and Nick's body. Where are bees? Straight thoughts I'm picking up. Ah, okay. People might think this thought to me looks dorky, but I think it's cool. It's only even taken so far away from the source. Oh, great. Bees love me. Hmm. And here's a card. That's an easy one. Surely it's not this far out. Hmm. Is that the real field mobile? Wow! This must be how 
Dance theater. It sounded like it picked up there for a second. Wrong direction. Gonna be so meticulous with this. It's definitely picking up something. There we go. I think it's picking up a little bit better. It's gonna be close. Maybe it's on this board. Find these so hard to find. It's weird that I'm not getting like a single rapid indicator either. I really like to go up there. <laughs> Looks a little bit more. Maybe I have to talk to Nick and Helmet before they'll let me activate that uh, spot. He seems to pick up here for just a second. Huh, I wonder if maybe. I was say maybe the house has it. Okay, it's definitely dying down. Huh. Oh well. Let's go see what's going on down here. How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every everything. How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every everything. Okay. This is all we get out of that dialogue. Well, here's another way to get over there, I suppose. Oh, the indicator went off. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to be looking. Maybe it's up really high. That would explain why I'm just getting a faint reading. Oops. Okay, thoughts. There we go. No wonder I couldn't find it. Looks like I could get this other one as well. Okay, yep. cool. And looks like there's another card over this way too. Just have to do the tight route. Got a side card. Looks like there may be some stuff back here. Maybe. Definitely a path. Oh, cool. Your helmet's head must be cold. Let's see, you won't let me go any further. Kinda looks like no. Alright. I guess it was just to pick up that scavenger hunt item. That's cool. I guess this is gonna be a telekinesis object. Oh. I guess I gotta hold on to it. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, bees. Smoke this. <laughs> Victory over bees. Oh, maybe I can jump. There we go. What's wrong, you big bees? You can't take the heat. <laughs> Just in case there's something collectible. Hope that I'm not contributing it. to the global decline of bee populations. Yep. Oh, no, that was a big mistake. <laughs> oh, 
Oh well, looks like I just sent me out back to the door. Hey, there's something. Another scavenger on him. On the right side, this phone sticks conveniently to your face while you're talking. <laughs> Hello? You, Green Needle Witch, you don't exist. You're just something someone put into my mind, which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another <laughs> hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? <laughs> Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but you know these bees are so demanding. Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. <laughs> know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? Okay. Well, this is a intense looking abode. Oh, well, that's a cool combo. That upgrade looks pretty intense. I'll use that in the next fight. Not seeing anything collectible yet, but let's keep looking. Oh, another slot. Ah, here we go. I'll take that card. Hey, it looks like I could maybe go over here. Does that get me anywhere near? Does not look like it? It's an interesting place to store your desktop. Okay. Okay. Cassie, shh, they'll hear you. Cassie? Would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. <laughs> Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. <laughs> because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went oh, away. Shouldn't have the other dialogue. Oh well. We'll get to enjoy it nonetheless. This level will be as long as Bob's or a little bit shorter. Cassie? 
I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. <laughs> now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. <laughs> Give me Paper Mario powers. All right. I did hear some emotional baggage. What does this do? Oh, close something? Huh. I have no idea what this is doing. Ah. It's raising that up. Maybe I could pull it and uh, slow time on it. Well, that didn't really seem to have much of an effect at all. Interesting. Maybe that's enough time I could get up there. Let's see, I thought I saw one more of these sliding out. says to you. Hello? Shh. Lower your voice, please. Where should I look for the missing books? Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? Uh -huh. What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. Can I talk to that nice writer, Cassie, again? You don't want to talk to her. She seems harmless, but she's full of dangerous ideas about human potential. No offense, but I think you're running too tight a ship here. You can't keep people prisoner. Better to lock up a few books than have the entire library destroyed. Why do you want to round up these books? Because I'm the only one around here who cares about safety. I care. Great. <laughs> the other Cassies had their chance to run things. Everybody got hurt. 
How did everybody get hurt? We all went to fight in the lagoon. And guess which motivational speaker thought she could talk sense into that monster? Ridiculous! It just made her mad, made things worse. So now, I'm in charge, and I keep all the books in order. All the important books. I gotta run. No running in the library. <laughs> this librarian aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche on lockdown. Hey, can you help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. <laughs> oh, that's here's another thing. Cool. Okay. It looks like that one's not on the timer. Or maybe it is. This goes all at once. I'll wait about it until I collect a little bit more, just in case we advance in the story too much. I can't get back in here. Platforming. Might be some of the harder platforming I've seen actually. Like a lot less guardrails. Okay. Looks like this is definitely the way. Time bubble probably made it worse. <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted to do, Raz. Let's try again. There we go. See if I can get it on just this one. Maybe, maybe. No. I wish I could cancel it. So we just need to watch the pattern. Try or two. I think this is gonna be it. Try again, I can't give up so easily. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering though if I can come out into this room in another direction. This is such an awkward jump. So fast. There we go. That's what we need. There we go. the baggage and I don't see a way I can activate that one switch that we saw on the floor earlier. I wonder if maybe I can skyblast it. I'm 
Shit, it's not look like it's gonna work. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, well I don't have the emotional baggage tag. What's that sound? But maybe we'll start the nugget at least. I'll take this nugget. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Okay, well I might just let the other collectibles wait a little bit because I think that I'll probably get a power and be able to get higher easier at some point. So we know that I can't really uh, make that chandelier looking thing go up higher. Hey, you're not a child. No. <laughs> well, this shouldn't take too long. Enabler, sports negative thoughts. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the thoughts that don't belong. Seriously? Uh oh. Guess we need to get rid of those. Um, how about if we have new powers or telekinesis? We'll do this. Oh, it's fast. That looks like powers at the center, so. Stupid enabler with a stupid but well crafted say nice there we things in happy first, but no. enablers just make things worse. Oh, good. I was thinking that was a whole new enemy coming out to get me. I'm not ready for that mess. Yep. Okay, what else do we have? Hey, does this have health in it? <laughs> yep. Okay. Hi, Memento Mori. Okay. <laughs> hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry, smarts ain't my thing. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight <laughs> fighting a dragon. <laughs> ah, new climbable surface here. Cool. What's the axe for? Bookworms. They ain't my family. <laughs> oh, it looks like I really need to get up there. Yeah. Oh, that may have been a bad take. Let's try again. That's the power. I'll get it here in a minute. Here's our mail slot. So surely it is. Gotta get my half a brain here. Let's see, anything else I can reach? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Hmm. <laughs> Looks sort of um Latinish, I guess. Maybe Italian? Yep. Not sure. Oh no. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. Let's see, can I, I can actually walk on that. No power to use, of course. 
Huh. Maybe I can just run away. <laughs> um. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe I can use this B. No, it's just a figment. Oh wow, there's 227 on this one. Jeez. So I guess this will be a bob length level. I have no idea how to do this. Um, yeah. Feeling a little stuck. I don't think anything's gonna work in here. Weird. Um, very weird. Can't levitate or anything. Oh, there we go. That's how I gotta do it. I'm actually gotta jump over here to this other side. Okay. So it looks like anything is usable as a platform. Okay, that makes more sense now. Okay. I was very confused by this. Cassie, you gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone hmm is that the real you or are you actually a combination of all those different identities important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind the hero the explorer the shadow my special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Heck yeah. Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the archetype you need most right now. Is it a trickster? A wise mentor? Or maybe a mighty warrior? Close your eyes. Empty your thoughts. Just focus on the most powerful, most helpful identity. Hey, hey, Clegane. How's it going? You're going to need help if you're going to face that librarian. Ah, uh -huh, here we go. Projection. Yes. Hi. I'm a fish. Look at my bones. <laughs> Alright, so this is gonna be how we make it through Good the metal dog. slots. Okay, I guess we just gotta do it. Almost. Try again. <laughs> oh well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Oh, that is hilarious. will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Hey! Not now, I'm working! I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Oh, look at him go! So cute! <laughs> That's the spirit! What a good boy! 
see where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end, and then I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Okay, I guess that's all my dialogue. Good dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I know you. Aren't you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hi there. Lob dub. What was that? Lob dub. Lob dub. Lob dub. <laughs> uh. Lob. Uh. Oh, oh so that's how we do switches. Some? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out. I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. <laughs> All right. I'm going to steal the nice. Don't you just love books? <laughs> hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that? Some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. <laughs> How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. <laughs> Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. <laughs> Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you, like, dripping blood and stuff? It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. That's a lot of interesting dialogue for... Weird side character. I'm gonna try pressing Y on the next door to see if it works. That'd be cool. Oh. I'm try sending an archetype after somebody. Let's see, are they fighting? Yeah, they are. Cool. You can act like a little distraction. Nobody kills my archetype and gets away with it. There we go. Oh. Oh, she's still empowering it. Nope. Let's get that archetype out. <laughs> See some pirate. Come on now. There we are. Oh, another one was. Oh, I am getting handed to me. Let's get a fire big enough for everybody. <laughs> Well, these things take a punishing. Oh, let's get another archetype. Yeah, 
<laughs> I guess I should have saved some upgrade points for the archetype. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's see what the upgrades are. Oops, that'll actually be in this meeting. Alright, projection. Metapal, your archetype has a healing presence. It slowly restores mental energy. Two ply, your archetype can take twice as much damage. And paper cuts, enemies take damage when they melee attack your archetype. Well, darn, not kind of wish I didn't spend on those points. Stop it! What are you a formula for? S sine waves. <laughs> hey there! Hello! I'm missing a piece. Can you calculate its volume? No. Kids today. <laughs> you don't bite people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. <laughs> Hi, what are you two up to? Shh, we're running away from our spouses to start a new life together. <laughs> so, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No. I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. <laughs> yep. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. <laughs> hey, do you bite people? Nope, Periodically. I that was something else. I think I hear something. See the baggage up there. I just want to check out thing else. It's all the tag to you. I think I hear some emotional baggage near. Hey, you two. Not a good time. Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. What's that yeah, sound? Yeah, I better come back to the moment to get their emotional baggage taken care of. They look like hey, they might be yeah, you so. Slay the monster. Oh. There's something else I need to collect. Yeah. And let's see. Here's another one. Oh, yep. Hmm. First tag. Yes, let's do the first tag and we'll head back. Okay. Click the hydrogen first. Here we go. Hey, you two. Not a good time. Nice sword. It was bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! <laughs> hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? <laughs> Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid, don't worry about it. I already called the cops. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh, my God. <laughs> pineapple and ham is an abomination. I knew you were a fell beast. 
Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Just a bunch of silly dialogue. Okay. I think I may have got just about everything I can collect, so let's go into this next area. Go back to it. I would not go in there if I were you. Why do I have to do all the hard work? <laughs> uh oh, another bit. This one, the one I'm retrieving. Oh, took me a second to see where Raz was. Bees. Am I going to the right? Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I'm still going to the right. Come on, guys. Oh. Another fight. I think I'm going to take out... Maybe side blast. Oh, no good. They're under that enabler's protection. Hey. Oh. There we go. Come here, little piggy. Here we go. Money. <laughs> Look at the guns and knives hanging off that necklace. And it worked. Hey, those are dropping bombs in me quickly. And there's more enemies over there. Jeez. All right. Maybe I can get us to top of this with bow. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I guess this is really the only way I can head. Oh, these are like our little uh, fly traps. Let's see. Here's a tag. Use our connection to get over. Maybe I can get suitcase tag. Gotcha. These two. Oh, that was a bad jump. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Maybe just riding it like this will work. Eee. There we go. Yeah, these levels are awesome. I just love it. Like, I remember the 
original Psychonauts uh, being very similar in nature and it's just crazy how pretty everything could be. Well, that one's really far away. Maybe I'll just skip it. Oh. That's not a good idea using levitation trying to cross that. Ah, I see more. There we go. Maybe this is going to be taking where I need to go. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Nice. Okay. And... Now I should be able to jump down on this book pile. There we go. Cool. Okay. Well, time to cross back over. Oh, time to repeat my mistake. <laughs> it's too tempting. You made it! He helped! Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! <laughs> ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one. But... We can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle okay. with Malevola must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. I'm gonna try to... Actually, let's go back. I think this may have been where... Um... It may have been a... I don't know if it was a nugget or what was back here, but at the very beginning of this, I thought there was a door. So let's go look again. I'm gonna collect that and uh, see if there's anything else to do in that main area. And I might call the stream at that point. We'll see. Yeah, there's that Taurus I'm talking about. Oh, it's at the brain. Even better. Hey, what's that over there? How's it going? Feeling a bit flat. <laughs> what? Under the door like a pesky bill. <laughs> there we go. Meow. Meow. Oh. Well, that was weird. I thought I took it, but it didn't do the animation. Maybe I played through it automatically. Well, that was bizarre. Huh. Okay. Then. Supposedly, I got it. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea they had uh, Billy from Billy and Mandy. Look, over there! Back in the chip! Another day, another dollar! <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna try to use them to uh, activate the switch for me up there on the globe. Ideally, I'd be able to make that and uh, see what's up there. Assuming I can trigger it as soon as I get up high enough. This is a tricky platform. Hmm. Oh, hit both of them. It won't work. Okay. 
not hop on this, then theoretically I'll be able to send my little buddy down there to take me out. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, that's a glitch. I can't move. That's hilarious. I don't know if I can undo this. Oh, that is so funny. I think that might be one of the first glitches I've uncovered from this game. I don't want to use the thought tuner while I'm inside the mine. I'm surrounded by so many oh, straight thoughts. Oh, there we go. It might explode. Or, <laughs> you know, make okay, a really that was funny. sound. I think I may have killed him. There he goes. Okay. <laughs> that glitch was awesome. Come back for that one. How for you look so young. Ah, uh, yes. I was brilliant back in the day. But now I'm a little um all over the place. And I'm <laughs> sure Cassie keeps tending her beehives. I'll come back to my old self someday. Anything cool? Hello, little boy. Can you help me get into the literature wing? I wish I could, but the way through is blocked. In a most confusing manner. I, I do get so Overwhelmed without Cassie here to help me. She's so good at multitasking, you know. She's my best friend. Why isn't she helping you? I don't know. Where is she? Hi, Otto. Any idea where the missing books are? Nope. No idea. Isn't that ridiculous? I think I'm so smart even though I can't figure out some of the simplest things. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Helmut. And a grand huzzah to you, fine lad. Isn't it a lovely day today? A feast for the senses? Uh, yeah. Except, well, Cassie's acting a little strange, don't you think? Strange acting, you say? Well, not everyone is as well-trained in acting as I am, so best not to judge. Ah, uh, never mind. It's always tempting to look for a dark spot when the sun is shining, young lad. But why not enjoy the sunshine instead? Excuse me, Bob Zanotto? Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, uh, hello. What are you doing up here? Not sure. Probably something to do with plants, I'll bet. I was always really into that kind of stuff. <laughs> Lucretia? Lucretia Mux? Please call me Lucy. Hi. I don't want to make things awkward. You kind of murdered my grandma. Well, I don't know who your grandma is, kid, but uh, I don't doubt it. I murdered a lot of people. Why did you murder all those people? I don't really know. I was the nicest person during my time at Green Needle Gulch. What were you doing at Green Needle Gulch? Otto Mentalis recruited me to use my powers for hydraulic titanium mining. Which Kissy told us was very bad for the environment, but nobody listened to her as usual. Don't you also go by another name? Oh, what? Colloquio, Max Maligula, Grolovia Spain, Vetvanda. That last one was a stage name for an act that was banned in three countries. <laughs> Did you used to be friends with Cassie? Cassie tried to be friends with me, but I was too busy making Google eyes at Fort Crawler. I ruined everything, you know. So before you became Maligula, you were a nice, normal person? People are complicated, kid. Ah, you're too young to get it. I'm gonna go. Try not to kill anybody. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> no promises. Nice. Okay. I don't remember if I got to tag for this one or not. Let's go check. I need the steamer truck tag for this guy. I guess not. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 
least we know it's up here now. Go check out the other direction, see if there's anything else over here next to Ford, and then look pretty much. Okay, looks like there's not. So I can collect this guy. And could hop over and get those other two. There's another one that's way over there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll try to get these. I'll call it a stream. I'll put this in. Not at an hour. Okay, we'll go for that one another time. Although I am kind of curious. Let's see if I can send it back and go get it. Let cool if I can. Better off unlearning. Oh, it looks like you can't send it to collect things for you. That would have been awesome. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I think that's a perfect time to quit. Um, so, thanks for watching. It's been STR Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rank. I'll have a replay of today's Psychonauts 2 stream up on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.